Hello everyone, my name is Too Sketchy and I want to welcome you to the very first global core cup in 1v1 of Dawn of War 3. Starting off with the quarterfinals, North American player Vindicare X able to secure a seed in which automatically pushes him to the semifinals. Also, kicking off the cup with some drama, the rank 1 orc Korean player Simon was supposed to face off versus Paperbag, but Paperbag was more worried about his pride than actually trying to play against him, so he pulled out of the tourney. With that said, Simon moves on to semi-finals versus Vindicare X. The same goes for Swedish player Burek, able to snag himself a seed in the quarterfinals, securely moves him to the semi-finals. With two players remaining, Romania's very own Noyava aka RTS Colt versus the neighboring country Hungary, which brings Jen Ramaran to face off in the first game of the cup. Let's take it over to 2Sketchy who's ready to kick it off. Hey, what is going on everybody? Thank you Too Sketchy and Too Sketchy coming right back at you. I want to first of all welcome you to Game 1 of the Global Core Cup. We do have facing off Jen Dramaron and Noyava aka RTS Colt both playing the Space Marines this match. Now looking at the map, at the bottom half of the corner, Jen Dramaron is sitting on Imperial Knight Paladin, Chaplain Diomedes, and Librarian Jonah Orion. His doctrines are Slow Death. Destructor Devastation, and the new turret doctrine, Tarantula. Curious to how he's going to utilize that doctrine. Looking at top of the half, top of the half, top of the map, we do have RTS Colt sitting on Venerable Dreadnought, Jonah Orion, and Kill Team Iron Maw. His early game potential of casting this elite is a lot more superior than Gen Dramaron. However, we'll see how they're going to be able to go up against each other. The doctrines for RTS Colt is Scout Strike. He does love spamming his scouts. Improved listing post, same doctrine as Gen Dramaron, Destructive Devastation for the late game. Let's get this game on the road, shall we? Pressing resume, undoing the fog of war. Let's check out their, let's check out their build orders. We do have two servitors coming out, and the last one right after the Tactical Marine. We do have one Tactical Marine by RTS Colt being queued up in his drop pod. Looking at Gen Dramaron, he's building a barracks and also has a Tactical Marine coming out after this servitor right here who's going to be coming out of his HQ unit. There it is. Tackle Marine being spawned up. Barracks being built by RTS Colt near his resource node, I guess you can say. And he is Sketchy Cap'n. Sketchy Cap'n has been copywritten by me. It is when you cap and build at the same time. Let's go check out. He is putting down a generator. A requisition generator. We do have a scout coming out of this. That's actually Gen Dramarons coming out of the barracks. Being able to utilize them early and scout out the area is very important. RTS Colt going over enemy territory right here. This is supposed to belong all to Gen Dramaron. However, RTS Colt is pulling out his servitor to cap this point. Most likely going to get vision. I don't think he's going to build anything just of yet. Just getting this vision on its own is very important. He is building an improved listing post right here in the middle of the map because most of the action does take place around here in this area. So building this is very important just to be able to hold off and defend this point. His other servitor did cap this part of the map. Doesn't look like he's in any danger at all. And we have another one capping the Elite Generator North. Knowing that Gen Dramaron's servitor is on this point, he does have vision of this. He knows he's there. Taking out the servitor and dropping down the drop pod. Curious what's going to be in there. I think that was actually the tactical marine that he was queuing up. Indeed it is. I don't know if... Uh, no, he's not going to be able to micro them out. I think he lost track of that. Unfortunately, he did lose that squad. Not squad, but servitor on its own. Curious what he's going to do about this. Checking out Gen Dramaron's setup right now. He has flamer attacks in the middle of the bush, I, can, I guess you can say. RTS Colt moving up his attack squad with some snipers. Scouting out the area with a servitor. There's no danger in sight except the servitor hiding in the heavy cover. I don't think he's going to be able to get him. No, he's not. Heavy, Carter, heavy cover did get procced. So he needs some melee units to be able to get in there. Looking at Gen Dramaron. He is following up with his units. Not going to move in just yet. Curious who's going to take care of this. Seems to be the fighting spot right now. Because RTS Colt will see this. There is a flamer squad down here. We peeked out RTS Coast Servitor, who's probably going to take a dive. Nope. Yep. He is going to take a dive. So they exchange Servitors right there. This scout unit 
is not stealth anymore. RTS Cole is fully aware of him decapping this. There's a there's a listening post up here. Curious if RTS Cole is gonna move on on this, and looks like he is. Jen does have nothing else. Oh, there we go. Assault Marines. He does have a drop pod in here of some scouts. Looks like we will have an engagement. His scouts did go in stealth. He doesn't have vision of them right now. They are stepping up. They most likely will throw the stun grenade. Indeed they are. And the flamers are stepping up with the scouts being dropped down as well. Tactical Marines are getting flamed down. These scouts did throw down their stun grenade on the snipers. However, he's going to make his Tactical Marines retreat and put in his ASMs to stop the flamers. Scout Marines are trying to do enough damage to this Tactical Marine. However, they're not going to get him. He's going to make it out in time. The standard comes down just to get that shield for the dying flamers. This scout seems to be out of position. He's trying to get the sniper squad, tie them up. Here comes the early kill team Iron Maw, which is definitely a bit better in the early game. Being able to call them early and utilize their flame ability. There it is. Scout's probably going to burn alive. However, they are proccing the shield from the standard. Not enough, though. They're taking just enough damage. Uh, ASM's jumping in. Trying to micro them around. He does miss the jump. However, the snipers and scouts will take care of it. Just scout, scouts itself, actually. The snipers are way back here. Taking up some DPS. And there you go. There you have it. We already have a spam of scouts. One ASM, one sniper, and one tactical marine. Looking at Jen's build right here. We only have one ASM and one tactical marine actually being built. ASM's getting spotted from the bush. He jumps up. He wants to initiate this fight. I don't know if this is a good idea. He does have one more jump. In a few seconds, he's going to be able to jump out of there. Probably will be safe. However, seeing the mass that RTS was able to build in such short of time, it's only five minutes into the game. He already has a lot of units. To be able to deal with this with, what, one or two units that he has, it's going to be really hard unless he had some sort of AoE. And Jonah Orion will be the one that can do that for him. However, it's going to be some time until you can cast that, actually. We are in danger of RTS Colt will point. probably harass the bottom half of the map, knowing that most likely he will have some kind of generator built here. He is scouting out the area. And there it is. Scout Strike does so much damage on the initial burst. Jen's trying to move up and see where his enemy is. He does have Jonah Orion right now. He did build a turret. Actually, he didn't manage to build a turret. He did put a servitor up here and completely gets wiped. Jonah Orion gets summoned. Puts down stone wall, but here comes some stun grenades. Which stop his Q. Actually, another stun grenade. Another stun grenade. Drop pods and ASMs are coming down. Oh my goodness, the standard and everything completely gets bursted down and chained. Even blind doesn't do much. Another stun grenade. The only unit in here is actually Jonah Orion, which getting <laughs> is completely getting focused by 10 maybe, even more units than that. An ASM squad jumps in here, but I don't even think they're going to be able to do anything. Jonah Orion sitting on just, yeah, no health at all. It's going to take a dive. The amount of units RTS Colt was able to produce and within a short amount of time, it's just too much of a Gen Dramaron to be able to handle. He jumps out with his ASMs, followed up by RTS's ATMs. ATMs. A ASMs. That's a lot of a lot of words to be able to say in this fast. Just by the sheer amount of units, guys. Like this is a lot. Look at all these units he has. Jonah Orion was just caught up in all of it. Not really realizing that they have so many stun grenades. And this seems to be a shield generator. Looking on the other side of the map, he only has an ASM. He's floating a lot of requisition right now. The enemy is stealing a point. It looks like he might have given up already. This was a fast game, ladies and gentlemen. I think Gen Dramaron actually gave up. There's nothing else being built. Nothing. Nothing at all. No drop pods. Nothing's being queued up. Shield generator is gone. Looking like a 7 minute game, if not just a bit more. Just gonna drag it out here. I'm actually gonna speed up the time. It is live, so I can do that thing, you know, speed up time live. And yep, wouldn't you know it? RTS Colt with the scout build, who he is famous for doing, 
You guys can check out his YouTube channel. I'll put that in the link below. Um, Jen Dramadon just wasn't able to handle the sheer amount. I don't know. Hopefully in game two, maybe he'll be able to counterattack this, but we'll see. And with that said, Too Sketchy, back to you at the studio. Take it away. Thank you, Too Sketchy, and welcome back, guys, with one game dominated by RTS Colt. Game two will be coming up next. Knowing how RTS Colt plays, will Gen Dramaron be able to build accordingly and possibly win game two? Stick around to find out more. <laughs> 